good afternoon class fine so we are with uh, your mental ability okay so statements and arguments chustunnam kada manamu continuation of that particular exercise 41st question nunchi chustunnam so ninnati varaku 40th question varaku ayipoyindi so we will see with 41st question now okay fine chudu or ra fine so let's go with your first question should cottage industry be encouraged in rural areas so cottage industry rural areas lo encourage cheyachcha odda annadi question so yes rural people are creative yes this would help to solve the problem of unemployment so ikkada chusinatlayite 41st question clear ga chudandi yes rural people are creative an annaru now కాటేజ్ ఇండస్ట్రీకి క్రియేటివ్కి రిలేషన్ అంతగా ఉందా అన్నది ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఓకే సో నాట్ ప్రాపర్లీ రిలేటెడ్ కదా నాట్ డైరెక్ట్లీ రిలేటెడ్ సో మనం ఏం చెప్పొచ్చు దిస్ ఈస్ అన్ ఇండైరెక్ట్ వే ఆఫ్ రిలేషన్ ఓకే సో నాట్ ఎ ప్రాపర్ కంక్లూషన్ బట్ యా దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ఒక టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ స్ట్రాంగర్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ బట్ నాట్ కంప్లీట్లీ సో ఇక్కడికి వచ్చినట్లయితే ఎస్ దిస్ వుడ్ బీ హెల్పింగ్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఆఫ్ అన్ఎంప్లాయ్మెంట్ టు సమ్ ఎక్స్టెంట్ సో ఆ ప్రాబ్లమ్ కర్బ్ చేయడానికి సమ్ ఎక్స్టెంట్ వరకు దోహదపడుతుంది సో వీ కెన్ గో with 40 second b ante kada conclusion too strong conclusion one teeskunnatlayite ah 41 b 41 okay 41 b conclusion chusukunnatlayite second statement stronger ga undi creative ga kada anna daniki cottage industry tho sambandham ledhu kada so that is an issue so obviously statement one you can ignore ignore and argument two is strongest one right next 42 42 chudam should indian scientists be working abroad be called back to india yes they must serve the motherland first and then forget about discoveries and honors so malle enduku manam scientists ni foreign la pampisthunnam adi vaalla choice kada vaalla ekkadaina work chesukovali anadi vaalla choice so definitely this is a wrong argument and not a stronger argument at all no we have to encourage enough we have enough talent and let them stay wherever they want so let them stay wherever they want anadi kuda point e see that is also not a stronger argument so i can have a counter argument for that right as let them stay ante so what if they are mentioning here clearly that we have enough talent ikkada ikkada man quality undalsin talent unda undi kabatti vala ekkada na undukone antaru that is not the case kada it's not a stronger way of argumenting kada so what would be my answer both are not a stronger statement so i would go with option d so 40 second d next 43 should judiciary be independent of executive so question is judiciary executive ki independent ga undala leda present indian system lo judiciary executive separate ga unda leda so basic fundamentals basic structure of doctrine prakaram judiciary independent judiciary anedi one of the basic structure of constitution according to keshavananda bharti case 1973 రైట్ సో అలాంటప్పుడు మనకి ఇక్కడ క్వశ్చన్ అక్కర్లేదు ఖచ్చితంగా ఇట్ షుడ్ బి ఇండిపెండెంట్ సో వాడు ఏ నెగిటివ్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ ఇచ్చినప్పటికి అది అది ఫాల్స్ స్టేట్మెంట్ అవుతుంది బికాస్ ఇన్ ఇండియా వీఆర్ అడాప్టింగ్ ఇండిపెండెంట్ జుడిషియరీ ఫ్రమ్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ ఓకే సో ఎస్ దిస్ వుడ్ హెల్ప్ కర్ ద అన్లాఫుల్ యాక్టివిటీస్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ రైట్ ఆబ్వియస్లీ నెక్స్ట్ నో ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ వుడ్ నాట్ బి నో ద ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ వుడ్ నాట్ బి ఏబుల్ టు టేక్ బోల్డ్ మెషర్స్ సో ఇది కలిపిన సపరేట్ చేసినప్పుడు ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ బోల్డ్ మెషర్స్ తీసుకోలేడు అన్నది పాయింట్ బట్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇండియాలో ఎలా ఉంది సిచ్యువేషన్ సపరేట్ గానే ఉంది ఇండిపెండెంట్ జుడిషియరీ అనేది ఉంది సో యూ కెనాట్ గో విత్ స్టేట్మెంట్ బి స్టేట్మెంట్ టూ ఈజ్ నాట్ అ స్ట్రాంగర్ స్టేట్మెంట్ బట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ వన్ ఈజ్ అ స్ట్రాంగర్ వన్ సో వాట్ వుడ్ బి మై ఆన్సర్ ఏ ఫార్టీ త్రీ ఆప్షన్ ఏ ఈజ్ మై రైట్ ఆన్సర్ నెక్స్ట్ ఫార్టీ ఫోర్ షుడ్ ద ఒపీనియన్ పోల్స్ predicting outcome of uh, elections before the elections be banned in india opinionized polls ante entante polling chestar kada correct ga ela cheppalante oka survey anedi ipudu suppose with 2024 manaki elections unnai ee election vache mundu konni surveys vastayi anamata sample surveys antaru din sample pollings evariki ekku votlu padachchu annadi ipudu problem ekkada ostundante veellu oka particular party ki favor chesinappudu it tends to manipulate people's mind అంటే ఏమవుతుంది ఇప్పుడు సపోజ్ నేను ఒక పార్టీకి వేయాలనుకున్నా పార్టీ బికి 
బట్ ఆ సర్వే ప్రకారము పార్టీ ఏకి ఎక్కువ మంది ఈ సపోర్టర్స్ ఉన్నారు అని వచ్చింది సో ఐ మై టెన్ టు డీవియేట్ నేను పార్టీ ఏకి వేయాలి అన్న ఒక ఆలోచన వస్తుంది అనమాట సో దిస్ ఇస్ అన్ ఆఫ్ ద నెగిటివ్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రీ పోలింగ్ సర్వేస్ ఓకే సో షుడ్ ద ఒపీనియన్ ఆఫ్ ఒపీనియన్ పోల్స్ ప్రిడిక్టింగ్ అవుట్కమ్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్షన్ బిఫోర్ ద ఎలక్షన్ షుడ్ బి బ్యాండ్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ఆర్ నాట్ అన్నది క్వశ్చన్ ఫస్ట్ yes this may affect the voters mind and may affect the outcome adhe kada nenu cheppindi so naaku opinion untadi but eppudaithe ee opinion polls prakaram okati vastado kachithanga i might get deviated from my point so conclusion a anedi strongest so argument 1 anedi strongest next no such polls are connected all over the world nenu already cheppanu okka dantu compare chesina but adu kachithanga weak statement undu why should we compare us with some other countries so if a particular country is not having this polling system appudu kachithanga debatable point e kada adi so edo oka country undadi ekkada neeku polls undu opinion polls undu then what is the case that would be a counter argument so weak statement what is the right answer only a is my correct strongest argument 44 44 44 a is right answer next should words like smoking is injurious to health essentially appear on cigarette packets cigarette packets choose kunna laite so ee smoking anedi aarogyaniki hanikaram clear ga dhumapanam aarogyaniki hanikaram even in your uh, theaters kaani ekkadana choose natla laite it is obvious obvious that in every places they will be displaying this why because some other the point some people will stop at least they, uh, they act consciously when they are doing it okay well opinion ekkado point lo adi deviate avvachemo వాళ్ళు కన్స్యూమ్ చేయకుండా ఉంటారేమో అన్నది పాయింట్ ఓకే సో వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్స్ గివెన్ ఎస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ సార్ట్ ఆఫ్ బ్రెయిన్ వాష్ టు మేక్ ద స్మోకర్స్ రియలైజ్ దట్ దే ఆర్ ఇన్హేలింగ్ పాయిజన్ స్టఫ్ అంతే కదా వాళ్ళకు ఒక క్వాషన్ ఇస్తున్నారు మీరు తీసుకునేది ఆల్రెడీ స్లో పాయిజన్ దీనివల్ల అడ్వర్స్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఉంటాయి అని చెప్పి అక్కడ ప్రింట్ కూడా ఇచ్చింటారు కదా ఆ వస్ట్ ఇమేజెస్ కొన్నంత క్యాన్సర్ వచ్చినవి సమ్ ఇమేజెస్ యూ కెన్ సీన్ థియేటర్స్ టు ఫైన్ నో ఇట్ హ్యాంపర్స్ ద ఎంజాయ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ స్మోకింగ్ ఇది క్లియర్ కట్ గా రాంగ్ పర్స్పెక్టివ్ ఇది స్ట్రాంగెస్ట్ పాయింట్ అందుకే మన ఇండియాలో కూడా ప్రజెంట్ ఆ స్మోకింగ్ మీద అలాంటి స్మోకింగ్ సిగరెట్స్ మీద దాని మీద ఇమేజెస్ ఉంటాయి ఓకే సో డెఫినెట్లీ వాట్ వుడ్ ఐ గో విత్ ఆప్షన్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ ఏ సో ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ ఏ లెట్స్ గో విత్ ఫార్టీ సిక్స్ ఓకే ఈజ్ పేయింగ్ ర్యాన్సమ్ ఆర్ అగ్రీంగ్ టు ద కండిషన్స్ ఆఫ్ కిడ్నాపర్స్ ఫర్ ద పొలిటికల్ ఫిగర్స్ అ ప్రాపర్ కోర్స్ ఆఫ్ యాక్షన్ అంటే ఇప్పుడు పొలిటీషియన్స్ ని కానీ సమ్ రాజకీయవేత్తలు కానీ సమ్ స్ట్రాంగ్ హెడ్స్ ని వీళ్ళు కిడ్నాప్ చేసి అమౌంట్ అడుగుతారు కదా అలాంటి వాళ్ళకి ఇవ్వాల వద్దా అన్నది క్వశ్చన్ సో ద ఎస్ ద విక్టిమ్స్ మస్ట్ బి సేవ్డ్ అట్ ఆల్ కాస్ట్ ఎవరైతే విక్టిమ్ టు విక్టిమ్స్ ఉన్నారు దట్ మేబీ పొలిటీషియన్స్ ఎవరైనా సరే ఖచ్చితంగా సేవ్ చేయాలి మన ఇండియా కూడా మనం అందుకే వర్క్ చేస్తాం అలా వచ్చినప్పుడు సిచ్యువేషన్ ఖచ్చితంగా మనం వాళ్ళ కోసం వర్క్ చేస్తాం సో దట్ ఈస్ అ స్ట్రాంగర్ పాయింట్ వెరీ యూ కెనాట్ క్వశ్చన్ నెక్స్ట్ no it encourages the kidnappers to continue uh, their sinister activities adi kuda correct kada extreme statement lo manam dan encourage chese kodi vaadu kuda inko inko politician kidnap chestadu definitely they'll go and kidnap some other person and they'll ask the, uh, demand more money so it will become a habitual habit right so what would be the statements of arguments both are strongest so even in the negative way it is the strongest one in the positive way it is stronger one so what would be my answer e would be my answer so 46e right next question should the railways in india be privatized in a phased manner like other public sector enterprises so migilina enterprises laga ee particular railways kuda private cheyala ippudu present ayithe already privatized privatized ante not completely privatized but yeah we are encouraging private investments into our railways stocks kuda ichesaru kada so let it be this is a question matters of 2001 okay you need to understand which year and kuda fine yes this is the only way to bring in competitiveness and provide better services to the public first thing ichina enti only way only way te kaadu kachithanga only way te kaadu endukante we have by the time of 2001 we have already sustained and we are very good in railways so asal adu question e kaadu so definitely that is a weaker argument okay next no this will pose a threat to the national security to our country as a multinationals will enter into fray idi kuda weak statement statement enduku manam already privatization 2001 naati ki ee national sorry uh, privatization of banks anadi privatization start ayipothadi so start ayinappudu 
PPP model of infrastructure it is proven to be a good good way of investment. Ante kada maran tapuru you can never say that private role would hamper the uh, hamper the development. You can never say that the private sector investment or a private actor's investment into infrastructure would create some kind of issues or is a threat to national security. You can never say that. Somehow you need to regulate them in being uh, as a monopoly, but you cannot completely stop them from having their investments into public sector. You cannot de definitely do that. Okay. So Alan tapde mau today. Rendu weaker statements. So Mali chaptu na ఇక్కడ సెకండ్ నాలో చూసుకున్నట్లయితే ప్రైవేట్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్స్ అంటే ఒక ప్రైవేట్ ప్లేయర్ వచ్చి రిలయన్స్ లాంటి వాళ్ళు కానీ ఇన్వెస్ట్ చేస్తే అది నేషనల్ కి థ్రెట్ అనుకోవడం ఖచ్చితంగా తప్పు అయిన విషయం ఇట్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఎ స్ట్రాంగర్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ దట్ కెన్ బీ అ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద నెగిటివ్ బట్ నాట్ ఎ స్ట్రాంగర్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ సో రెండు స్ట్రాంగ్ కాదు సో వాట్ వుడ్ బి ఆన్సర్ ఆప్షన్ డి ఎన్నది ఫార్టీ సెవెన్ డి నెక్స్ట్ ఫార్టీ ఎయిట్ should shifting agriculture be practiced shifting agriculture ante oka chota agriculture chestaru so vellu pantalu pandistaru aa tarvata aa pantanta pandinchesina tarvata aa pantani fire chesi migilina residues anta evaithe inga migilina chettaithe untado mottham aa grasslands anta fire chesi inkoka place ki elli akkada malli culture cheyadam they are strictly banned now in the country they are not encouraging this shifting agriculture and this is very much prevalent in ట్రైబల్ ఏరియాస్ సో ఈ ఫారెస్ట్ ఏరియాస్ లో ట్రైబల్ ఏరియాస్ లో నొమాడ్స్ ఉంటారు కదా వీళ్ళు ఒక చోటు నుంచి ఇంకో చోటుకి వెళ్తుంటారు బంజారాలు అంటారు సో దీస్ పీపుల్ ట్రావెల్ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ ప్లేస్ టు అదర్ ప్లేస్ సో ఒక చోటు కల్చర్ కల్చర్ చేస్తారు ఇంకొక చోటుకి వెళ్ళిపోతారు అక్కడ అక్కడ చేసుకుంటారు ఈ మిగిలిన చోటుని ఫైర్ చేసేస్తారు దీనివల్ల ఏమవుతుంది ఎకాలజీ దెబ్బతింటది ఎన్వైర్న్మెంట్ దెబ్బతింటది ఓకే సో దాట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ప్రిఫరబుల్ వన్ సో లెట్ సి should should shifting agriculture be practiced no it is a wasteful practice correct kada correct kada it's a wasteful practice yes modern methods of farming are too expensive completely irrelevant kada because right now we are working for modernization of agriculture so definitely this is a wrong perspective but the first one is right perspective so what would be my answer a option a only argument one is a strongest argument which is the question number 48 a next 49th should higher education be restricted to only those who can bear expenditure so higher education edaithe undo adi only rich people valaki evarkaithe double pettagalaro valaku mathra restrict chesthe saripoddha dan artham inga poor poor gaane migil pole rich rich gaane migil pole ani kada so ee divide edaithe undo rich poor divide adi inga penchutunnatte kada so wronger you can never support it first of all yes the higher education is very costly hence it should it should not be given free మరి మన ఎనీబీ పాలసీ కానీ మన సబ్సిడైజ్ కానీ ఇప్పుడు మన ఆంధ్ర తీసుకున్నట్లయితే అమ్మఒడి కానీ ఇలాంటివి ఎందుకు వచ్చాయి ఇప్పుడు ఈ మిడ్ డే మీల్ స్కీమ్స్ అట్ ద సెంట్రల్ లెవెల్ వై డిడ్ ఇట్ కమ్ బికాస్ దే వాంటెడ్ టు గివ్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీ అదర్ పర్సన్ ఇరెస్పెక్టివ్ ఆఫ్ దేర్ ప్లేస్ ఆఫ్ బర్త్ ఇరెస్పెక్టివ్ ఆఫ్ దేర్ కమ్యూనిటీ లెవెల్స్ దే ఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు గివ్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ కంపల్సరీ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ మరి అలాంటప్పుడు ఈ ఆప్షన్ అనేది రాంగ్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ నో దెర్ ఆర్ లార్జ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ బిలియన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ హూ కెన్ నాట్ అఫోర్డ్ టు పే దే షుడ్ బి గివెన్ హైయర్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ కరెక్టే కదా for that is the only reason for whom for the marginalized section we are encouraging them into higher education vallaki scholarships isthunnaru they are giving reimbursement fee reimbursement enduku isthunnaru because we are encouraging them into higher learning because these people are also brilliant irrespective of their economical background okay so what would be the answer b second conclusion or second argument is only the strongest one 49 49 b is the answer next 50 should there be a complete ban on use of all types of chemical uh, chemical pesticides in india em antunaru chemical pesticides india lo vaade prathi daan meeda complete ban undachcha this is a debatable one extremes positives untai extreme negatives untai because green revolution iskunnatte da mana full pesticides vaadam ipudu present natural farming antunam ఎక్కడ మనం కెమికల్ పెస్టిస్ వాడకూడదు ఎన్వైర్న్మెంటల్ పర్స్పెక్టివ్ సో ఐ ఆల్రెడీ టోల్ యూ డెవలప్మెంట్ వర్సెస్ ఎన్వైర్న్మెంట్ సో ఇది ఎప్పటికీ డైలమ్ అని అనమాట సో నో ద పెస్ట్ విల్ డెస్ట్రాయ్ ఆల్ ద క్రాప్స్ అండ్ ద ఫార్మర్స్ విల్ హ్యావ్ నథింగ్ టు హార్వెస్ట్ ఇప్పుడు ఈ కెమికల్ పెస్టిసైడ్స్ కానీ బ్యాన్ చేసినట్లయితే పెస్ కంప్లీట్ క్రాప్స్ అండ్ బ్యాన్ తినేస్తాయి కదా సో ఇట్ విల్ స్పాయిల్ ద ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ క్రాప్ కరెక్ట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఏనా స్ట్రాంగెస్ట్ వన్ ఏనా కెన్ ఐ డిబేట్ ఎనీథింగ్ అగేన్స్ట్ ఇట్ నో సో కంక్లూజన్ వన్ ఇస్ స్ట్రాంగెస్ట్ ఆర్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ వన్ ఇస్ స్ట్రాంగెస్ట్ let's go with the argument 2 
Yes, the chemical pesticides used in agriculture pollute the water underground and this will become a serious health hazard. Right now we are thinking about that one, you know. So chemical pesticides, what them will environmental impact on the garbage, we are natural farming skill them on matter. That is why we are encouraging this zero budget farming, natural farming or uh, your permaculture. Ila natural interfaces in use use children could present malitization. Go back to conventional and go back to traditional methods and them. Okay. So what is the answer? Both holds equally strong. They are both the both arguments are equally stronger. So, what would be my answer? Option E would be my answer, which is the one, fiftieth one. So, fifteenth one, E is the right answer. Fifty-first. Should the vehicles older than fifteen years be rejected in metros in India? So, fifteen years का ना older उन्हें vehicles नहीं metros लो ban चाहिए अच्छा. चेस्ट नंगा था present. मानो इपुर चेस्ट नंगा आवट ऐसा नॉन ऑप्शन होने दो। If it comes something as no, then definitely that is not an answer because we are currently focusing on environmental friendly vehicles, FAME one, FAME two, even the electronic vehicles, कुड़ electrical vehicles कुड़ वा मानो we have went so far that we are discussing about electric vehicles right now, okay? So no an option completely eliminate जैसे इच्छ। Clearly you can eliminate option option or a argument two. Go with argument one. Yes, this is a significant step to lower down the pollution level in metros, right? अंते का था मेट्रोस लो ऑलरेडी बिकॉज़ ऑफ इन्फ्लेटिंग पापुलेशन देर इज अ ह्यूज इश्यूज़ ऑफ एनवायरनमेंट पोल्यूशन दें डेफिनेटली वेयर यू शुड बी हैविंग अ फोकस ऑन यू शुड रिड्यूस द पोल्यूशन बाय कीपिंग और बाय रिजेक्टिंग परमिशन फॉर 15 इयर ओल्ड व्हीकल्स और मोर देन दैट एज ऑफ Fifty-second question: Should there be a restriction on the migration of people? Should there be a restriction on migration of people from one state to another state? Manik India lo restriction unda? Koni chotu unde? Ekada northeast lanti places lo where their culture or their people have to be protected, alanti areas lo restriction unde. But through our articles nineteen. So, Article 19 of uh, Fundamental Rights, Part 3 of our Indian Constitution gives you right to freedom of me movement and right to freedom of profession. Until unless me ringko can disturb chest, you have these rights guaranteed from your fundamental rights of constitution, which are justifiable. Gada. So, let's see. So, you can answer the question. Our restriction is the pet touch. Another question. So, major strongest point there is the no another one can do so you cannot tell yes because right now we are able to move from one place to another we are going to metropolitan cities or some metros or tier one cities to get more economical benefits or to lead a good life so you cannot go with the option b yes and one option which thing a correct call so let's go with the no uh, no any indian citizen has a basic right to stay at any place of his or her choice hence they cannot be stopped clear cut that is what the right which we have so Statement one is definitely right. Yes, this is the way to affect an equitable distribution of resources across the states in India. Is that the wrong perspective? Let's say Bihar to compare this with Andhra. Okay, but Bihar lo already people resources chala takwa. Khani wallo ko konto mandi ki skill undan kono. Let's say there are huge manual labour, but still uh, the level of wages that they are getting is very much low compared to Andhra counterpart. अंते आंध्र वालों आधे रख में न कूली लूँटे इकड़ वालों कोच्चे डबल तो पोलिस थे अकड़ कोच्चे वाले कूली डबल चाला तक हुआ देन इफ दे वांटेड टू रीड द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ़ देर मैनुअल लेबर कैन दे बी माइग्रेटेड टू इन आंध्र और नॉट पर बिहार वाले की प्रॉपर का रान अपुर वाला आंध्र को मोड अलग त Fifty-two, A is right answer. Next, fifty-three. Should the tuition fees, should the tuition fees in all postgraduate courses be hiked considerably? So tuition fees, ये वाइटे मान कि higher graduate, postgraduate अंडे PG courses उन्हें आएगा ता PG courses लो tuition fee पंचाला आना थी question. Present मान मु इनका scholarship इच्छित अगिस्तनो. पेंची तो इनको मालिंग ऐन तो कल दारो, so we already seen गधा higher studies अपड़े तो focus चेस तामो, higher studies की expenditure पे दे पेंचे को दे poor people ना ना afford चेस कोलेर, so you need to reduce it more than increasing, अलांटा पुरु 
yes and no option kasi tanga thappu. So I'm not going to that. Let's go with no option. So no, this will force the meritorious poor students to stay away from the PG courses. Can you debate anything on that? No, definitely no. So 53, B is my right answer. So B is the right choice. 54. Should high chimneys be installed in industries? Yes, it reduces pollution. Just a second. Okay. Fine. Should high chimneys be installed in industries? Yes, it reduces pollution at the ground level. Definitely. No doubt. And the other Pratyoka industries keep pi in a pet and miru chimneys and under in the co local own areas wallu are pollutant gases in Valla affect car kurzoni. Nothing to debate, stronger one. Next, no, it increases pollution upper atmosphere. Ikada lower the people such both in the upper atmosphere gun charge each other. So, first of all, you need to focus upon people who are living at the ground level, right? So, this is a weaker statement, this is a stronger statement. So, what would be the option correct? A argument A. So, argument 1 is correct. So, argument answer would be A. 54 A. Next. 55. Should persons convicted of criminal offenses in the past be allowed to contest in India? Criminalization of politics, huge issue. Ippudu koda yavarati criminal sunnaro. Wala nalo chegur dana dega main debate. So, ikra should persons allow ante? Yes, sir, anna ante? That's a completely wrong notion. That is why CAG Kani, um, different other investigative agents like CBI, why are they working even your, uh, what do you say, Loka Ikta, Loka Dalats, why are they working for? They are working to counter these criminal, criminals existence in politics. Kada. So we need to minimize, minimize these criminals. So what would be the answer? Should persons convicted of criminal offenses in the past to be allowed in the, to be allowed to contest elections in India? No. Kachitanga will not have to do another point. Criminals are under one democracy pair, Jeppe, one this co could do. So, what would be the answer? This is definitely wrong. Yes, and a Kachanga the pay. No, no such persons cannot serve the cause of people and country. We are already criminal and Kunapu, Vadik Nachin Cheskun to Potharu. So, it may be a male or it can be a female. If they are criminals or if they are with a criminal background, how can you expect them to serve the country? In the name of democracy, we can't give uh, the power to govern ourselves to someone who is uh, worthless and criminal, right? So definitely, my answer would be A. 55, A is the right answer, right? Next, 56. Fine. Should India create a huge oil reserve like western countries to face difficulties in situa situations in future? So, yeah, Chaptundi. Oil reserves, man, India lo maintain ches ko wala re podna issue ochne. Let's say Iran issue ne po present Russia Ukraine to war jaro tundi crude oil crude oil market or crude oil prices chala peri pay. We can see clearly that there's a huge spike in crude oil. Not only in our countries, in different other countries too, they are facing huge issue with this crude oil prices because they have limited sanctions. Say saro wall limit ches their production. So ko per barrel cost peri pay ne. Okay. So in that cases, man reserves maintain chedu correcta kada ana the question. This is a matter of 2002. We can convert to renewable and Japachu. Are you able to understand? If you put the same question on this question, these two arguments are argument in the environmental perspective. Like we can convert into uh, some kind of renewable sources, then why do we need an oil resource or a stock of this oil reserves? Not required. Kada. So, yes. Let's see. Let's see. First, no, there is no need to block huge amount of foreign exchange and keep the money idle. So, first point in Japan, no, there is no need to block huge amount of foreign exchange and keep the money idle. No, Japan. So, how far that is correct? We don't know. So, weaker statement, kada. No, 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 Okay. So, e vision of foreign exchange, just the kada, another one, prakara, mana, matla, the idle, the pit call, and the correct call, correct perspective call. Yes, this will help India with stand, withstand the shocks of sudden rise in oil prices and unforeseen situations like Russia Ukraine war. Okay, 2002 la perspective. Even now it is relevant. So, what is the answer? Argument 2 is the strongest one. What would be the answer then? B. Option B. 56. Option B. 57. 
should india encourage exports when most things are insufficient for internal use itself so india lo india nunchi exports encourage cheyala ippudu suppose wheat wheat sangat teeskunnatlayite oka oka time lo uh, even no, ippudu india kani saripoledu anukondi wheat production so mana government cap fix chestund anamata int amount int amount tappani chintaku nunchi exports cheyagurudu ani enduku because we need to curb inflation in our country right now see this point should in india encourage exports when mo when most things are insufficient for internal use one internal use ke sufficient lena but exports enduku encourage cheyali mari foreign policy ela vastadi trade ela vastadi manaku saripodu kada ani cheppi manam ivvakapothe even take the case of vaccination we are also in the deficit stage but still we have helped the rest of other countries right we have given vaccine diplomacy anad jarigindi kada let's see yes we have to earn foreign exchange to pay our pay for our imports no even selective encouragement would lead to short shortages second statement completely tappe na second statement definitely wrong go with the first statement yes we have to earn foreign exchange to pay our imports foreign exchange kachithanga kavalsinde kada manam balance of trade lo issue lo undi appudu exports aned encourage cheyali kada so one of the valid points right but let's see 57 ante na first one just a second where is this <coughs> 57 సెవెన్ లో ఈ ఫారిన్ ఎక్స్చేంజ్ కోసం మనం ఖచ్చితంగా మనకంటూ కరెన్సీస్ కావాలి కాబట్టి మనం ఎక్స్పోర్ట్స్ మెయింటైన్ చేస్తున్నాం అండ్ ఆల్సో ఫర్ ద ఫేవరబుల్ బ్యాలెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ట్రేడ్ అండ్ ఫేవరబుల్ ఫారిన్ పాలసీ సో స్టేట్మెంట్ ఏ ఇస్ డెఫినెట్లీ స్ట్రాంగర్ వన్ స్టేట్మెంట్ టూ నాట్ ఎ స్ట్రాంగర్ వన్ సో వాట్ వుడ్ బి మై ఆన్సర్ ఏ ఈస్ ఇదే కదా ఏ ఈస్ మై రైట్ ఆన్సర్ లెట్స్ గో విత్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఎయిట్ షుడ్ ఫ్యామిలీ ప్లానింగ్ బి మేడ్ కంపల్సరీ ఇన్ ఇండియా family planning india lo compulsory cheyala yes looking at the miserable conditions in india there is no other go mana india ipudu present chusukunnatlayite un report prakaram world lo most populous country mara antapudu kachithanga manakantu oka priority anadu undalu kada ledante okokor 10 15 mandi kante what is the situation of india utmost issue kada so definitely kachithanga ekkado chota anadi controllable aithe undali strong statement next statement chuddam so argument anadi stronger one first the second argument no in india there are people of various religions uh, religions and family planning is against the tenets of some religions example um koni relations uh, islam lo teeskunnatlayite pillalu vallu vallaku oka restriction ala ve undad anamata ekku mandi kante manam ekku family ante they are stronger an artham according to some traditions not only for muslims and some uh, different conventional aspects having people for 3 to 4 members is very good even more than that they are still encourageable valid point e kada religious perspective lo negative e kada when you are controlling child birth that is against the values of certain religions this is also stronger statement so what would be my answer which is the question 58 would be e as both are strongest ones right let's see 58 answer is e right next let's go with 59th question okay should children be legally made responsible to take care of their parents during their old age so old age ochinappudu should the children be legally just a second okay should children be legally made responsible to take care of their parents at old age correct e kada cheyachu kada because you need to take care of your parents then you are then they are taking care of you when you are at infant stage definitely that should be responsibility of the children to take care of their parents at one age so yes such matters can be dealt only in legal means yes only this will bring some relief to poor parents ipudu ee rendu veggane unnaya clarity ki observe cheyandi only this means and only this will bring not completely like only this in the wings and then what about their mindset if they are already interested then why not this any kind of legal matters kada so option would be d let's check 59d because why i would go with 59d is that no legal ga proceed aithe tappa vallo change raadu ante then what about the ethics of society are you able to understand this is not the only means this can also be a means but not an only mean for both it is mentioned that this is the only means that is why it is exactly wrong statement or vague statements so what would be my answer d either one or two can be strong okay next 
so both are not stronger kada vague statements and d ante vague statements anai kada completely vague statements next should an organization like uno be dissolved uno launch state launch oka organization dissolve cheyachcha presently dissolve ayinda avvaled mara mana support ekkada untadi should not anade untadi let's see yes with cold war coming to an end such organization have no role to play no they are playing very key role to integrate entire world so definitely option one is wrong wronger perspective next to two argument two no in the absence of organizations there may be world war correct kada so what would be the answer correctly b 60th b 60th b next 61st okay should india support all the international policies of usa so em untundi usa a policy chesina man support cheyala when is this case 2003 enduki idu vachindi 2006 lo manaku deal vachindi nuclear deal nuclear deal 2006 vachindi enduku manamu న్యూక్లియర్ సప్లైయర్స్ గ్రూప్ ఎన్ఎస్జీ లో మెంబర్షిప్ కాకపోయినా సివిలియన్ పర్పస్ లో న్యూక్లియర్ ఎనర్జీ వాడుకోవచ్చు అని చెప్పి యుఎస్ తో మనకు డీల్ టూ థౌసండ్ సిక్స్ లో వచ్చింది ఆ సిక్స్ లో వచ్చిందంటే దానికి ముందు నుంచి మనం ప్లాన్ వేసుకున్నట్టేనా సో టూ థౌసండ్ త్రీ లో షుడ్ బి బి ఒబేయింగ్ దెమ్ అనేది క్వశ్చన్ బ్యాక్ డ్రాప్ అది లెట్ సి నో మెనీ అదర్ పవర్ఫుల్ కంట్రీస్ డూ నాట్ సపోర్ట్ ద సేమ్ అండ్ ఎస్ దిస్ ద ఓన్లీ వే టు గెయిన్ ఒకటి కంపారిజన్ ఎప్పుడు రాంగ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ నేను ఫస్ట్ నుంచి చెప్తున్నా కంపారిజన్ ఎప్పుడు వీకర్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇట్స్ నెవర్ అ స్ట్రాంగర్ స్టేట్మెంట్ నెంబర్ టూ దిస్ ద ఓన్లీ వే వై ఈస్ దిస్ ఓన్లీ వే దెన్ వాట్ అబౌట్ అవర్ సావరెంటీ హౌ కెన్ వీ ఎంకరేజ్ హౌ కెన్ వీ సపోర్ట్ ఎవ్రీ అదర్ యాక్టివిటీ దట్ యూఎస్ డస్ డెఫినెట్లీ రాంగ్ ఎస్ పర్స్పెక్టివ్ రాంగ్ పర్స్పెక్టివ్ సో నైదర్ వన్ నాట్ టు అవర్ స్ట్రాంగర్ పాయింట్స్ స్ట్రాంగర్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్స్ సిక్స్టీ వన్ డి ఈస్ మై రైట్ ఆన్సర్ నెక్స్ట్ should school education be made free in india india lo school education free cheyachcha anadi point first no this is the only way to improve the yes sorry yes this is the only way to improve the level of literacy take the case of kerala akkada mottham free unda ledhu kada take the case of northeast akkada kuda higher undi ante enduku andhra varaku teesukondi is in andhra is it free education here that helped for uh, ramping up the literacy level no so this is the only way anukunna kuda kachithanga kaadu okay no it would add to the early heavy burden of the exchequer kachithanga ipudu let's say uh, there is a uh, there is, let's say two two students student a student b theesukundam student a vachi from rich community high uh, high level of uh, income unna family nunchi vachina student student b vachi from very marginalized section uh, puta kuda tindi leni paristhiti ఇప్పుడు నేను ఫ్రీ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ చేస్తే ఇద్దరికి ఒకటే ఒకటే లెవెల్ ఆఫ్ బెనిఫిట్స్ వస్తుంది రిచ్ వర్డ్ ఎవరైతే డబ్బు పెట్టగలరో వాళ్ళకు కూడా సేమ్ బెనిఫిట్స్ వస్తుంది పూర్ ఎవరు పెట్టలేరో వాళ్ళకు కూడా సేమ్ బెనిఫిట్స్ వస్తుంది దెన్ హూ ఇస్ టేకింగ్ ద బర్డన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ మనీ గవర్నమెంట్ కదా నేనే కదా పే చేయాలి చెక్స్ అంతా అగైన్ అట్ ద ఎండ్ ఎవరి మీద పడుతుంది ట్యాక్స్ పేర్స్ మీద పడుతుంది ఇన్ఫ్లేషన్ పెరుగుతుంది సో దిస్ వుడ్ బి రైట్ ఆప్షన్ వాట్ వుడ్ బి ద ఆన్సర్ బి వుడ్ బి బి కంక్లూజన్ సారీ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ బి ఈస్ ద స్ట్రాంగెస్ట్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ అని అంటాం so 62 62 b is the strongest argument next 63 should there be an upper age limit of 65 years for contesting parliamentary or legislative assembly elections so em an cheptunnaru ee upper age limit 65 years undala antunnaru present unda upper age limit parliamentary elections ku unda leda cheppandi do we have any kind of upper age limit for contesting into state legislative assembly or parliamentary elections no only in judiciary you have a retirement age parliamentary debba yel 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 osna muslal chestunnaru kada even when that person is in a wheelchair they still uh, working on for uh, parliamentary elections so there is no upper age limit in our country adi telusukovali adi backdrop ippudu manam point chudam which is a stronger one which is a weaker one or either is stronger or not so yes generally people have the age of 65 lose their dynamism and will power avuna 70 yena lo kuda freedom kosam fight chesina vallu unnaru even uh, before the freedom fighters uh, during ee struggles vaste kada jansi ee type of subsidiary alliance vallu ochina struggle aa struggles lo kuda oldest people fight chesina vallu unnaru even after 75 after 80 kuda desam kosam poraadina vyaktulu unnaru so you can never say that there there will be uh, 
end of dynamism with age, even at the 20 years of age, people might have no dynamism. It all depends on their mindset and their choices. So definitely not a stronger statement. Definitely not a stronger statement. No, the lifespan is so increased that the people remain physically and mentally active even up to the age of 80, which I am telling right now. 25 years, 25 age years of Kuda, when that person is not ready mentally, then that person will not be able to contest into election. So it's not based on the age. It's about their will and their will and interest to get into politics. And the kind of some freedom. Make in the age limit petam, age limit, entry age limit. So our time ke will mental ka at least develop point or one. So apart from that, the upper age limit we haven't fixed because at the end, the people are the ones who have to choose and the person who is standing there should have their own interest, right? So both vague and on the other statement because I have a counter argument kada. Just see with that and I have a counter argument. So definitely both two statements are not stronger enough. So what would be my answer? Most probably my answer would be D. Let's see. 63, D is the right answer because both are vague. I can question on uh, the statements which they have given. Are each in the counter argument of the phrase chase and under the stronger statement Kadanartham. Stronger argument Kadanartham. Next, 64. Should adult education program be given priority over compulsory education program? Compulsory education program mostly targets to younger, younger people. Adult education and above, above 18, above 25, whoever it is. So, upper age limit is not the same. So, pillar age is not the same as the same as adult education. Antam. Okay. So, let's see what are the statements. Statements are not the same as first. No, it will also help in success of compulsory education program. Even or should adult education program be given priority over compulsory education? Honor? We do no honor. No honor is not the same as why will you say that it will also help in success of compulsory education program? Not a relevant one. Properly relevant say lay what it's in statement ki. Next, yes, it will help to eliminate adult illiteracy. Adult education as a deni kochindi. Adults low ante pedda wala low e nirakshrasi te re te undo. Adi eliminate chan ke dani tisi vay dani ke uchindi adult literacy program. So ye program dani kachthang help out. Deen with debate lay, but deen with debate undi. Ante kada. So what would be the answer? D. So, argument 2 is strongest. Argument B is strongest. Next, is buying things on installments profitable to the customer? It is a put dynamic point. In the country, yeah, my cut call is not what is the profit. Contrary, cut call is not negative. So, most probably the dilemma. Let us see. Yes, he has to pay less. Is buying on installments profitable to the customer? First point, Judandi. He has to pay less. Kaadu. Overall, he has to pay more. Unna dhani kanna inga ekku pay chayali. Andi kanna sogamandu uddhan kundra. Whoever is ready with the money, they will not go with EMIs. Because he have to pay more. More than the expected amount. That too for a longer period. Longer period are the mana choice, but however. No paying installments upsets the family budget. Not at all. Why do we have a fridge, a ASL, a middle class family? Why do we have EMIs? We have to cut it off. But overall, the total amount, this statement is not the same. Why do we have to cut it off? Why do we have to cut it off? Why do we have to cut it off? Overall, this is not the more amount. You can tell that he has to place less amount per month. That means, definitely correct. No, that is not the wrong. If we have to cut it off, we have to cut it off. This family budget is not the same. We have to cut it off. To get accessible, to make people accessible to these uh, kind of luxury items, kani, like the basic uh, A1 items, kani, they have introduced this installments way. And it is proven to be effective, right? So, both statements do not give a stronger impact. So, what would be the answer? 65D. Next. 66. Should religion be banned? Religion ban chayala. Yes, it develops fantasism in people. Kach tanga kaad. Religion ban jay sanate kodutar India lo. Doubt illi. Okay, ipadike UCC bill raanga na andar kodwala aurutthu nadu. So definitely you cannot never, you can never scrape this religion from mind of people. Wrong statement. Next, no, religious binds people together. Religious binds people together. Ipadman observe jay sanate laite, ee rendu vokadhan kukut related ka leda. 
ante idu unte idu undadu idu unte idu undadu somehow both if one is correct other would not be correct kada venn diagram teeskuna appudu ee rendu parallel circles ante not something related to either religion can be stronger or this fantasism to eliminate so either uses is this call ledante religious support ivali rendu different concepts but both in their own way they are stronger me clarity observe cheyandi yes or no so what would be yes see i'll tell you clarity ilanti questions vachina appudu ela produce cheyali ana cheptan should religion be banned annadu first statement em ichadu it develops fantasism in people an annadu religion ban cheste ban cheyakapothe okay if cheste yes ante fantasism so fanatism ante it would be good or equal integration untadi another point let's say we do ban chesinappudu if yes religion ban idi no so yes cheste a integrity unity vastundi another positive point no cheste binds people ante kada same religion all wall wall kasukuntaru its binding people kada religion is one of the greatest aspect to make people to be together but ee rendu anedi mutually strong statements but idunna appudu idunda idunna appudu idunda avuna kada are you able to understand eppudaithe meeku dilemma lo rendu correct avvachu ani anipisthe appudu go for stronger statements like both are strong ee kelipochu kana correct chusukona appudu ee rendlo okati maatrame stronger avutadi if you are choosing with the ucc model then definitely this would be strong if you are favoring religion then this would be strong but both can never exist together ante kada so option would be c andukane nenu option c annanu ante na option c ana okay next 67 fine should all the drugs patent patented and manufactured in western countries be first tried out samples basis before giving license for sale for general public in india ante first the proper sample basing test try chesin tarvata gaani ivvakoodada anedi question yes many such drugs required different doses and duration for india population and hence it is necessary no this is just not feasible and hence cannot be implemented vague statement aidi ipudu covid 19 lo kuda main issue em ochindi covid vaccine lo meer proper testing cheyaledu antunnaru because of the ongoing increase in heart diseases or heart attacks people are claiming that they haven't pro they haven't done proper uh, testing on that without proper testing of its futuristic issues you have implemented it under the proper criticism jarutundi coordinate yet it is to be like proven but yeah that is a proper constructive criticism kada so ikkada aa rakamga chusukunte statement 1 correct ah you cannot debate but statement 2 definitely debatable so what would be my answer what would be the possibility just a second a would be the possibility 67 a is a possible answer 68 should internal assessment in colleges be abolished cheptara idi try it out what would be the answer hmm? so your answer is a what's your answer hmm? okay let's check should internal ass assessment in colleges be abolished yes this will help in reducing the possibility of favoritism so internal assessment ante enti ipudu manaki oka semester paranga teeskunnatlayite degree college lo internals unde externals unde internals ki takku takku marks unde ipudu overall let's say 60 marks kanunte internal uh, not 60 marks 75 kanukunte 25 ki internal 60 external antaru okay ante na 60 external 85 whatever it is divide it 20 80 or uh, 20 60 whatever it is based on particular subject ala divide so, let's say 20 80 anukundam ఈ ట్వంటీ మార్క్స్ అనేది ఇంటర్నల్ అసెస్మెంట్ దాని మీద ఉన్న మేజర్ క్రిటిసిజం ఏంటి స్టూడెంట్ ఫేవర్ మేడం కి కానీ లేదా ఆ పర్టికులర్ ఫేకల్టీ కానీ ఫేవరబుల్ గా ఉంటే ఆ ట్వంటీ మార్క్స్ పడతాయి అబ్బా అనేది ఫేవరబుల్ అనేది ఫేవరిటిజం కదా సో దిస్ పార్షియాలిటీ ఆస్పెక్ట్ విల్ బి మోస్ట్ ప్రొవలెంట్ ఇన్ ఇంటర్నల్ అసెస్మెంట్ నాట్ అన్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ అసెస్మెంట్ బికాస్ యూ నెవర్ నో టు హూమ్ యూ పేపర్ ఈస్ బీంగ్ అలోకేటెడ్ టు ఓకే సో పాజిబిలిటీ నేనా స్టేట్మెంట్ వన్ నో నో డౌట్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ సో స్టేట్మెంట్ వన్ ఆర్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ వన్ ఈస్ అ స్ట్రాంగెస్ట్ next no teaching faculty will lose control over students no teaching faculty will lose control ante valaku enduku undala asal control 
కంట్రోల్ అక్కర్లేదు కదా అట్ ద ఎండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద రిక్వైర్మెంట్ ఆర్ బీయింగ్ ఎ టీచర్ వాట్ ఈస్ దేర్ ప్రియారిటీ టు టీచ్ ఆర్ టు మేక్ దే స్టూడెంట్స్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఆర్ హ్యావ్ ద డేట్ దేర్ నాలెడ్జ్ బీయింగ్ డెవలప్డ్ అంతేగాని కంట్రోల్ ఉండాల్సిన అవసరం లేదు దెన్ దే విల్ నాట్ బికమ్ ఎ టీచర్ దే బికమ్ ఎ పొలిటీషియన్ ఓకే సో వాట్ వుడ్ బి ద కరెక్ట్ కరెక్ట్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ ఆర్ ద స్ట్రాంగెస్ట్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ వన్ సో ఆన్సర్ వుడ్ బి ఏ సిక్స్టీ ఎయిట్ ఏ ఈజ్ అ రైట్ ఆన్సర్ should so much money be spent on advertisements advertisements me repetition question kada antaku mundu kuda vachindi let's see yes it is an essential uh, concomitant or something in a concomitants in the sense a particular element okay in a capitalist economy no at least to wastage of resources so clarity chudandi first it is a essential concomitant in a content or in a contaminant in a capitalist economy correct kada capitalist economy lo enta prove cheskunte ante kada correct no it leads to wastage of resources so let's see wastage of resources aithe kaadu because ee wastage of resources bodulu inflates anichunte it inflates the price of commodity anichunte kachithanga valid point but it is a wastage of resources ante kachithanga kaadu because at the end i need my product to be sold whatever the means may be it is maybe because of fame or maybe because of the qual- quality of my particular product okay sometimes the quality doesn't matter as long as it is uh, being famous in the market kada so what would be the right or reasonable option conclusion one or argument one is a strongest one adhe kada icharu 69 a is the right answer 70 should the practice of transfers of clerical cadre employees from government offices to one city to those another city be stopped transfer anedi stop cheyala anadi point no transfer of employees is a routine administrative administrative we must continue it kachithanga jarugutune undi routine we have to continue yes it involves a lot of government expenditure and inconvenience in many of the compared uh, to benefits of its yields so we it benefits valla so let's go with the options c 70th ah 70th kada yeah 70th question so now see the statement first practice of transfers for clerical cadre employees from government offices oka city nunchi inko city varaku an adugutunna first one transfer of employees to the routine administrative tasks and we must continue it ipudu routine task kabatti continue cheyali nen dan question cheyachcha routine task aithe mar sati kuda routine task mar dan continue cheyala nenu point e kada i can argue against it is it a stronger one no but it is an acceptable one administration lo follow avutunnaru kabatti nenu follow avochu but adi stronger argument dan sustenance kaithe stronger argument kaadu kachithanga transfer undala ante mundu nunchi undi kaabatti undi ani cheppalem kada i can question on that okay so weaker statement next yes it involves lot of government expenditure and inconvenience to many compared to benefit it yields so to many than it benefits to yields an annaru ikkada clarity ga chusinatlayite in what ways an cheppara is it generic or is it specific clarity chudandi see if it is not in detail or specific if it is vague then it is not a stronger statement and already chadukunam from the beginning we have seen so they clearly mentioned that it gives more negatives than more uh, negatives than benefits what are those negatives did he mention no open ga cheptunna ra avu akkada edo some benefits untai uh, sorry losses ekku untai benefits kanna anna mari enta vi an cheppaledu kada so with without knowing what are the negatives i cannot tell that that is a stronger statement then again i have i'll have a counter argument that then what are those why do you feel so i have a point to question okay so that's why both are not a stronger statements 70 d okay should jobs be linked with academic degrees and diplomas so జాబ్స్ ఏవైతే ఉన్నాయో వాటిని అకాడమిక్ డిప్లొమాస్ తోనూ డిగ్రీస్ తోనూ లింక్అప్ చేయాలా అనేది క్వశ్చన్ నో అ వెరీ లార్జ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ పర్సన్స్ విత్ మీగర్ అకాడమిక్ క్వాలిఫికేషన్స్ విల్ అప్లై అప్లై సో షుడ్ జాబ్స్ బి లింక్డ్ విత్ అకాడమిక్ డిగ్రీస్ అంటే నో వెరీ లార్జ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్స్ విత్ మీగర్ అకాడమిక్ క్వాలిఫికేషన్స్ విల్ అప్లై మరి ఎలిజిబిలిటీ క్రైటీరియా ఎలా వస్తుంది నేను డిగ్రీస్ తీసుకున్నప్పుడు సి ఇప్పుడు ఐ వాంట్ ఇట్ ఎ పర్సన్ టు బి అన్ ఆఫీసర్ లెట్ సే అంతవరకు ఎందుకు నవ్ యూఆర్ అప్లైంగ్ ఫర్ గ్రూప్ వన్ ఆర్ ఫర్ ద గ్రూప్ టూ వాట్ ఈస్ యువర్ మినిమం క్వాలిఫికేషన్ డిగ్రీ 
graduation is your minimum qualification. Why did they do so? 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 If they wanted to solve a particular problem, which is of more of technical or something which needs high IQ, then how will they be benefited? So, minimum requirement of qualifications is at least at least at least at least minimum is at least at least point. So, this is not a stronger one. Next, no importance of higher education will be diminished. So, if you choose not like this, these jobs, academic degrees, diplomas to include chedam valla, higher education okka importance taggi po thundi. Ante edo chapta. Ippun nenu, same group to example this konta. Group to example this konta pudu. Now, minimum qualification e nti? Degree. Degree to na akko udhyoga mosthu na apun nem PG jesta na. Now, family kna degree to na akko udhyoga mosthu nthi anu kundam. Let's say I am from a very poorer family where I cannot afford for even a single meal. Then, will I prefer to go to a job with my basic degree or will I go pursue higher education? Degree chal anu kundam gada. So, it will definitely diminish higher education probability. Is there anything to debate? No. So, what is the stronger one? B. Option B is right. So, 71. Option B is right answer. Next. Should individuals institutes having treasures of national significance like Nobel Prizes hand them over to the central government for their safe custody? Yeh mant naru? Nobel Prize il gaani yevana awards ochchi na pudu vaat ni safe custody kosa government kitsche echcha. Here is question. First. Yes, the individuals and institutes do not have enough sources to protect them. अंते ना कुछ ना वो इन गवर्नमेंट की चीज़ तेंगे ना ना आधे का चूज़ करने को डालेक पते लगा ना आधे का रिसोर्सेस लेवल मिल रहा चप्पल तो मेबी आई में हैव प्रॉपर रिसोर्सेस आई में प्रोटेक्टेड विथ माय ऑल लाइफ ऑल थिंग दैट आई हैव इट्स अबाउट माय डिस्क्रिशन का था तो डेफिनेटली स्टेटमेंट नहीं � Okay, so what would be the answer? Possibility? Option B. So this is 72. 72, option B. And next, 73. Should India develop a national water grid by connecting to all the rivers in the country? Country loan, any rivers ni kalipi, national grid chayala. Mana work chest na dena? Saga pudu, this kuna atlete water read na? Sagar Mala, you want to do this, you want to do infrastructure projects, ports building, you want to focus on this. Integration goes on, so if it is no, then definitely wrong. Because we are currently working towards increasing of this irrigation or this water integration project. No is definitely not an option, but let's go with this argument. No, this is not possible as we do not have technical know-how. Definitely wrong. We can work if we don't have a technical, uh, technical if we don't have a technical background too. We can ask for help from other countries, but this is a wrong statement. Next, yes, this will help greatly the entire country by efficiently channelizing the excess water to the areas where it is shortage. Mana kono watershed areas unai, drought conditions unai, kono chotal floods se coast unai. So if we are diverting it and if we are linking up all the rivers, river linking project is the greatest aim kada one of the aims of our country. So this is a direct answer. Option B. Seventy three. Seventy three. Option B. Next, should taxes on color television be further increased? Taxation color television me the penchala. Another question. Clarity chudam, options chudam. Color television ante, it end the question ante. Right now you might not uh, be aware, but in the olden time, from uh, black and white, they've converted into color television. So on this should be increased taxes because luxury people you only used to buy. Okay. So let's see. Yes, color televisions is a luxury item and only rich people will buy. This is a wrong notion. Konta mandi, even poor people kuda kona galri. Why rich people? Some people might keep everything that they have and they can buy. Or if that is a necessity for them, they can buy. Wrong notion, not a stronger valid point. Next. No televisions are bought by poor too. No the television or bought by the poor too. Deen ki should taxes be increased anna dhani ki direct relation unna. पूर कौन कौन था रन इच्छर करते हैं, but taxes अन्य direct का mention छह रहेगा ना, vague statement, if it is not mentioning any of the topic, पूर मानो दिन इच्छा दे दिन चलते relevant ना आने पिस्ते दे, but you have to relate with this with the taxes, they haven't mentioned anything about taxes, they are mentioning that television will be bought by this पूर too, but how far it is related to the question अन्य, मानो connections करोगे ना कड़कड़ा लेते, so that is a weaker statement again, 
So, what would be the answer? 74. D. No two statements are strong. 74. D. Because clear cut ka akada R. Next. 75. Next. 75. Should there be a compulsory med uh, medical examination of both man and the woman before they marry each other? So, anti, women men marriage chase medical examination. Ante, wala, how far they are healthy? What are their blood groups? What are their diseases? If they mate, if there can be any other kind of issues? Another question. But right now, compare just the yes, you have to take even at the, that particular time. Yeah, oh, if there is any kind of communicable disease or uh, STD, then definitely the partner should be knowing it, right? So, that is a proper valid point. Even now, they recommend them to perform medical examinations before marriage. But right now, people are not doing it in a very good way, okay? No, this is an intuition of privacy of an individual and hence cannot be tolerated. tolerated. How come this comes into privacy? Asalu, privacy and a question is not a question. If you have a relationship, you have a relationship with the body, a blood, a group, will that be affecting or not? So, this is wronger perspective. Question of privacy is not there. Marriage is not, I mean, it's privacy of their both. It's not about the single person. Kada. Fine. Next. Yes, this will be substantially reduce the risk of giving birth to children with serious ailments. Correct, right? I am going to say that 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 I am So, there is no point in argument in this. So, there is a stronger argument, there is no counter argument for this. What would be my answer? 75. B would be? 75. B would be my right answer. Right. Fine. Okay. Fine. Let's stop here. We'll see for the next classes. We will go with the assumptions or something else as a new topic. And then let's come back if anything required. Let me see if all questions Ilane unte matram then inko exercise this kunta no or inko ka chapter like statements and assumptions this kun chadu kunno. Okay. Once you are having that confidence that yes, Ilane questions say then and answer chegal nan kunno. But we can go with some other topic. And later on, if time permits, we can again come back to this particular exercise and com complete it. Okay. Fine. Thank you for the session. Good afternoon. We'll meet again in next session tomorrow. Thank you.